Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to change data labels or positions in SSRS report. We often display the data labels or data points on the chart and sometimes it's a good idea we want to display them on the left, right, up, down and all that. So here we are going to learn all those techniques. Now let's go to the SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and take a look on the query that we are going to use. So we have select query that select on region and item sold from table. So that's fine. Execute it. Take a look on the region data. So we have North America, Asia and Europe and then we have items sold. So th this these two will be used. This will be used as a category mostly and uh, this one we will be using for values. Now go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and then create a new report. Click on the reports, add new item and select report and then here we're gonna call this one position data labels add click on the data sources add data source give some proper name let's call this one dsl ds sales and we are going to use a shared data source reference so select that one hit ok now in the data sets right click add data set and provide the query. So let's call this one dset sales. And uh, this is going to be embedded. Select your data source, paste the query, and hit OK. In the design surface, right click and insert, and then select chart. Now, very first uh, chart we are going to use is a column chart. So that's already selected here. Hit OK. Let's make it this one little large so we can see. And next, uh, click here. The, in the values or provide the field uh, that you would like to here we have item sold uh, so some of item sold will be displayed on these uh, bars next uh, the categories if you can see we have a b c d these are the categories uh, so what we have to define here provide the region so now it is converted to the region so this beautiful chart is ready and you can see that we have asia europe and north america now the scale is from 0 to 20 because the values uh, uh, exist uh, for these bars uh, between uh, 0 to 20 so that's fine now let's go ahead and display the data because uh, right now what is happening I see that this is on 10 uh, for Asia but for Europe I don't know it is 18 or 19 uh, for North America same thing I can't tell it is 11 or 12 so I would like to display those uh, values uh, so right click on these bars uh, and say show data labels uh, now we will see the labels uh, on these bars uh, and you can see that uh, we have 10 for Asia, we have uh, 19 for Europe and then we have 11 for North America. What I would like to do, I, I would like to take everything out, these labels I want to show out of these bars and here what I see 19 is inside that uh, bar or column. So I would like to take this out. So let's play with this. Click on the these labels, so any of them you can click on any of them they all will be selected then press F4 so this will take you to the properties in the properties if you go and see the position it is set to auto right now and what we are gonna do we are gonna change that so first of all we'll change to the top okay so that tells us okay I show all these data labels on top of these bars that's great so what is happening now let's preview it but we did not see any difference here as you can see 10 and 11 were already out and 19 is still inside that bar so it is not working why it's not working because the scale we have is 0 to 20 and there is no more space to display this outside of this bar so if we change the interval of a chart that will help now let's go and change the interval so here right click and go to the vertical axis properties and then uh, we have uh, different intervals and everything it is uh, right now auto let's go back uh, and change this one to 20 instead of uh, auto so now our uh, interval will be in uh, for each of the 20 so hit ok review the report now and you can see that uh, from 0 to 20 and 40 and these all values uh, does exist between 0 to 40 so our scale works just fine 
and uh, what is happening uh, and interval is uh, for 20 so you can see from 0 to 20 20 to 40 and uh, here we see 10 is outside now the 19 is also outside and 11 is also outside so this is one of the trick uh, sometimes we see oh, okay I have set the property but it's not showing me on the top so you have to set the interval at and give some more room for these uh, labels to be displayed let's play with other properties now so click on this one and uh, we go to the position again and instead of top uh, would like to have uh, top left so if we will do top left you're gonna see on the top but on the left side so that's how you can play with it and next uh, let's go and play with one more or two because uh, it's really great to learn and uh, top right will do on the right left center and the uh, right bottom right let's do the bottom and let's see what it will happen now if we do the bottom it should be displayed right here so it is uh, taken inside uh, these uh, uh, bars or the columns now one more thing I would like to show you here go back and instead of bottom let's say outside now we have done top that took uh, the value out of these bars and showed on top what is outside so let's say if we do outside now what happened invalid value outside for the custom attribute outside so in the bar there is no outside so you will be using top that will show on the top and but if I will use this chart as a pie chart then there is outside so let's keep the property as it is and right click on the chart and say change chart type and now change to the pie and once we will change to pie we'll see these values the data label should be displayed outside of these pi so they preview the report now and you can see that the values are displayed outside these uh, these pi so th some properties are they are generic properties for all the charts and uh, you have to see if uh, that property does work for a specific uh, type of chart or not otherwise it will may, might work uh, or design for other type of chart so now if we go back here again and we are in the pie what we need to do let's put them inside so here we have a uh, uh, auto we can uh, do auto we can do uh, bottom left bottom right and all that and uh, maybe we would like to do center so in this case let's play with the center and see if what happens so now it is putting in the center of these uh, so I would like to play one more property here and uh, let me see in the position what we have here in the bottom what does it do in the pie chart in the bottom I didn't really see here because see bottom is more when you are using the column chart so here it doesn't really do anything there is no bottom here in the pie chart so these property all of them what are available for us that doesn't mean that if they are available they will work on all of those charts uh, so they depending on the chart you can have like for column chart you can have top left right and all that and for these outside and center does work for the pie so this is how you will be using these properties let's do the top now and see what happened in the top it worked the same way it didn't do anything for the pie but if I go ahead and change this chart change chart to the let's uh, change to the bar chart and see how it uh, works so if you even change to the bar chart now it is uh, on the top so that's how you will do it so this is pretty cool uh, sometime uh, we have the requirements when we have to display these labels on specific uh, positions on the chart uh, and uh, we struggle so this is the property you will be using uh, to uh, change the position of uh, data labels or data points uh, on your charts thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video